everybody to Coma Comics here. This is a contest entry for the Contender 400 subscriber contest video. Congratulations Contender my man, you make some awesome videos and I'll tell you what, this is an awesome contest. I mean all contests are cool but we'd be lying if we said they were all created equal. Um, this one just looked like a lot of fun to, to do. I saw somebody else do an entry, so I'm like, I'm going to jump right on that. So what he wants you to do is the usual uh, subscribe and age requirements. He's doing no uh, no limit on international shipping, which is pretty darn cool, because even my own contest, I think I forgot to say, but I was just hoping it's only U.S., but if it's not, I'll, I'll ship it to somebody else. There's no problem with that. Um, but, you know, got to think ahead on those things. So anyway, Contender wants you to... Spell out your name, your nickname, your name, your real name, your YouTube username, whatever you want with a comic book. So the first letter of your name would be the first letter of a comic book, etc., etc. So Tacoma Comics, got some Tacoma Comics here. I, I dug deep to get some uh, some funky ones, some stuff that I don't usually show you. Uh, here we go. T. Toxic Avenger. Price tag junk there. Number one, first all toxic collector item issue. Uh, I love cheese comics, man, and I, I love the 80s, and I love the Toxic Avenger. We used to watch that on uh, VHS in, in college. I went to college in like the super early 90s. Um, if you ever seen Toxic Avenger, there's this one scene where there's this girl, she must be like 12 years old, and she's on roller skates, and she's going back uh, in an alleyway with some real skeevy looking dude, and they show him some the Toxic Avenger, and she goes, That's not David Bowie! You said you were taking me to see David Bowie! Funniest, funny shit I've ever seen. Excuse my language. All right, continuing with the cheese theme. A, Archie vs. Sharknado. And that was written and drawn by Dan Parent, who I got to sign at Emerald City Comic Con. Sorry about the glare, that's that's in Mylar. Um, you know, I, I love the Sharknado movies. The first three or four after that they got a little little uh repetitive but to see the uh archie getting in there on the action with the uh comics pretty cool c do a little cbgb o m f u g i used to visit cbgb's on sundays for the hardcore matinees in the 80s on the five bands for five bucks or four bands for five bucks something like that if I recall right, it's country, bluegrass, blues, and other music for ugly guys or something like that. Um, can't remember exactly. Unfortunately, it's closed down now. Uh, this was a four-issue limited series from Boom, and one of the uh, one of the issues was written by um, Kelly Sue DeConnick, and she uh, she signed it for me. I think it was number three, I believe. And it had a story that I, I showed it to her at a, a con, and she seemed kind of uh, reminiscent. It was about a friend of hers who, um, I take it, is no longer with us. And uh, it, it was just really cool to see her kind of, like, talk about it and, and, and look back at the comic and be like, oh, my God, this is one of the first things I wrote and for comics and stuff. So that was pretty cool. T-A-C, Tacoma. Speaking of Kelly Sue, there's uh, her husband, Matt Fraction, on Odyssey. I didn't have anything uh, cheese or, or oddball. I mean, Odyssey is not exactly straightforward, but it's a really great comic. It's not Toxic Avenger. Um, there's some serious stuff going on in here, and, and I've shown the eight-page fold-out by Christian Ward in this before. This is just phenomenal. So we got our taco in Tacoma. Tacoma backwards is Ammo Cat. Everybody who lives here knows that. Uh, Tacoma married with children. There is number one. Dun, 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 dun. I had no idea that they actually made comics uh, for married with children until <laughs> way later past when they came out. There's another one there. Not that I've got two M's in Tacoma. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Flashback special. The cheese, the cheese. I wish I had an ALF for the next one, but I don't. Actually, I do have ALF number one. Why didn't I take that out? Oh, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. I love it when a name is spelled together. Uh, we've got, I think it was Amy. There were two different girls in different seasons whose name be, names began with A, but obviously Hannibal and uh, Templeton Face Peck. Murdoch, Madbird, uh, something, and... B.A. Baracus, Bad Attitude Baracus. So there's the Tacoma in Tacoma Comics. Starting to see. 
I went for Chu, Demon Chicken Pollo. If you uh, read Chu, you know that the, the super enhanced chicken is a special agent and is integral to the storyline. You can have a Chu storyline without uh, the Demon Chicken. First, he was a uh, Warrior Chicken, but this special is the Demon Chicken Pollo special. There's my C. And, oh, I just wanted to shout this out because I haven't had a chance to talk about this. I like this series. This is a kids-friendly series, um, oddly normal. After, like, 11 issues, he switched to graphic novels. Um, Otis Frampton does some really great work. I think he drew the, the Jawas for um, the Star Wars Adventures, the, the Jawas uh, series or issue, excuse me. Um, and he does some really great stuff. I follow him on, on Twitter, and I like to see his process. He's always talking about procreate and rendering um, images and stuff that I don't understand because it's beyond me, but uh, sounds vaguely like digital art. Um, oddly normal. Get If you get a chance to pick up the paper, the trade paperbacks, definitely do. Really cool series. I, I really dig it. So there's my O in comics. C-O-M. I didn't have anything to fit the... Uh, overall theme so I'm just going to throw out Moon Knight number one by Lemire, Smallwood, and Bel Air. Jordi Bel Air. My lord is she an amazing colorist. I mean I'm, I've been going through my comics and looking at how many series that I absolutely love and I realized wow that was colored by Jordi Bel Air. Vision was colored by Jordi Bel Air. Redlands was written and colored by Jordi Bel Air. Moon Knight was colored by Jordi Bel Air. Um, Pretty Deadly was color colored by Jordi Belair. Um, Injection was colored by Jordi Belair. Um, I haven't read this. I saw this in Half Price Bookshop two days ago, and I was like, I don't want that. Um, I heard it's a good series. I like Warren Ellis. I don't know a lot of his stuff, but I was reading uh, Shipwreck, and I really like that. Uh, I heard Declan Chalvey is great on art, um, but I'm just like, I don't need to follow another series. I'm going to stop following series just because I can find the first five issues uh, cheap at Half Price Bookshop and, and I heard good things about them. I have enough comics to follow already. Then today, on uh, I guess on comic news site I was reading, they said uh, Injection has been optioned for TV series. And my brain went off. I said, I just saw issues like one through 10 uh, advertised, uh, not advertised, in Half Price Bookshop, and they're a buck fifty each. So I grabbed myself, I think I'm missing like number eight, so it's one through nine, but I'm missing number eight. So I grabbed all of those. So uh, Injection, I'll give that a read. Uh, looks like some really cool art. And I like issue two, by the way. It's that, that whole, like, is it upside down? It looks like it's that way, but then the writing's upside down, and so is the price and everything. So actually, it is the guy, is he falling through a ceiling or something, keeping a steady hand on the gun, though. So Tacoma Comics, ready for another C? Warrior Chicken Pollo. <laughs> there he is again. This, I believe, was the colorist or the cover artist. It's not um, John or Rob here. I have not met those guys, and I would love to. Um, by the way, after uh, after Chu, John Lehman, I think, did uh, Eleanor the Egret, which great series. I wish that got some more, more love from people, but it, it didn't. And Rob Guillory, I believe, just came out or is coming out with uh, Farmhand. So I'm going to pick that up from him and, and check that out. Should be pretty cool. Uh, some cool mashup art there. So yeah, that's the second C in comics. Uh, Chew Warrior Chicken Pollo. And then finally, the S, I went for Six Gun Gorilla. Um, another excellent uh, miniseries, six issues, uh, absolutely insane. Uh, there's this guy who wants to die and he's chosen to participate in this TV show where they drop you on this, uh, this world that's inhabited by all sorts of crazy bad guys and stuff. And yeah, pretty not basic concept, but it's been done before, you know, TV shows like, uh, or is that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie based on the Stephen King short story? Totally something runner or running man, running man, right? So it's almost like that running man thing. Um, but the guy who saves our, our uh, hero or our anti-hero in this is a gorilla who wields a uh, six shooter or two six shooters, actually six gun gorilla. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy, insane and wonderful and 
grab it, grab the trade paperback. If you can't find the comics, absolutely worth it. So there you go, Tacoma Comics, sorry, T, A, Archie Sharpnado, C, O, M, A, C, O, M, I, C, and S, Tacoma Comics, contender, show him some love, ladies and gentlemen, great guy, great, uh, great content, really great to follow, knowledgeable about comics, uh, 400 subscriber contest. Here's the next 400 contender. Hope you like my entry. And uh, even if I don't win, just happy to show you some support.